The way people buy software has changed. They're out on social media platforms and community platforms, discussing these things, talking about them with friends, asking for feedback, and all of those are signals that could be used to create community qualified leads, which you can then import directly into your CRM. I'll show you how to do that in just about five minutes. Check it out. Hi, I'm Chris Smith with Common Room. Common Room makes it really easy to aggregate all of the data across your community and social and other platform touch points that you have with your customers and prospects so that you can find the ones who are starting to explore your brand and then you can automatically tag those as community qualified leads and sync those into your CRM. In this video, I'll show you how you can do that with a Slack community as an example and users that are interacting with your GitHub account and then sync that data into a HubSpot CRM. Let's check it out. You can follow along by going to commonroom.io and selecting Get Started for Free. Once you sign up for an account, you'll be able to connect to your different social media and community platforms. And we'll start by adding our Slack community. Check the boxes to give it admin privileges and grant privileges from Slack. From here, you can double check and confirm that you're ready to start importing the data from Slack into your Common Room instance. When you do that, you'll see in the lower left-hand corner that Common Room is importing data from Slack. Great, so while that's loading, we can go back to the settings and connect GitHub as a source. Just find the GitHub icon and click connect. Next, we'll follow the same process, specifying privileges from the Common Room side and accepting the request from the GitHub side. I then confirm access with the authentication code and we're ready to start importing data from my GitHub instance into my Common Room instance. After the data loads, you'll have a member section with all of the different contacts and their profiles that Common Room could pick up across your different sources. So if I limit this to just Slack, I can see a bunch of sample data users that we've seen across our Slack community. And you can see the different profiles and the data that's been unified for that individual user. You can also see a preview of this user's activity in this section. Next, we want to set up what the qualification criteria is for community qualified lead. And you can do this by going to the common room settings and selecting the tags menu item. From here, you'll see tag items like influencer, contributor, and community qualified. The tag settings allow us to specify some criteria that will automatically tag users based on some activity, like if they're actively posting in our Slack community and they're part of a company that's more than 50 people. And this time we can use the search bar at the top of our filter criteria and choose organization size and set this setting to be between 50 and 200 people. Now, when we save and confirm, Common Room will go through all of our members and apply the community qualified tag if they meet these criteria. An alternative way to accomplish the same thing would be to set up a filter using impact points. Impact points are a way of aggregating and summarizing a user's activity across all of your different community touch points into a single number. And it works by automatically calculating and weighting based on different types of activities. For instance, forking a GitHub repo, which is something that's more high investment, might generate 10 points, whereas just starring a GitHub repo would just give you one point. We can take advantage of this feature that works across all of our different sources and set the filter criteria to be at least 50 impact points within the last 12 weeks. So now, once this is saved and confirmed, all of our members will be updated with their appropriate member tag. So we can go back to the members page and filter members by the community qualified member tag to see all users who meet that criteria. And now we're ready to go into our CRM, HubSpot in this case, and set up a custom property, which will allow Common Room to sync community qualified properties into the CRM. And in this case, I already have the community qualified property and the community qualification date property set up. You'll need admin privileges to create them in your instance. So let's take a look at these. For the community qualified property, you need to give it the internal name of CR underscore community underscore qualified. This is important because it allows Common Room to sync the data to the correct property in your CRM. And similarly, we need to set up the community qualification date property so that we know when the user became community qualified. And for this one, you need to use the internal name CR underscore CQ underscore date. 
So now the HubSpot CRM is ready to start receiving data from Common Room. You can enable sending data to your HubSpot CRM by going back into Common Room to the settings and sources and click the set up HubSpot button. Next, a Common Room teammate will get back to you in the next 48 hours and then you'll be able to go into HubSpot and filter your contacts based on the ones that have the community qualified tag set to yes or no. You can also go and view the specific properties for any user by clicking the view all properties action and then searching for CQ for community qualified. So now that this data is consistently syncing into HubSpot, you can start to build out dashboards and reports that integrate this community engagement data directly into your sales and marketing activities. You can also go back into Common Room and set up team alerts so that your team can get Slack alerts when new members meet your community qualified criteria. I hope this video has been helpful for you and you can see that there's a way to get higher quality and quantity of leads for your business. If you have any questions, feel free to join us in our Slack community and until next time.